Randy Gardner holds the record for most consecutive hours without sleep. In 1964, the 17-year-old stayed up 264 hours. 11 days and nights with absolutely no sleep. It was part of a Stanford sleep study to see what happens when we don't sleep. The results will make you want to go to bed right now. We need sleep. It helps us recover. It keeps us alert. It's absolutely necessary to maintain a healthy lifestyle. But there are plenty of people out there who just can't get their nightly Zs. They might feel groggy and moody the next day. Even worse, they might fall asleep behind the wheel or while doing something dangerous at work. But what happens when you go multiple nights without getting enough sleep? What's it doing to your body and mind? And what happens when you finally get back on a healthy sleep schedule? To understand what happens when we don't sleep, let's talk about what happens when we do sleep. During a good night's sleep, your body will move through four or five sleep cycles. Each cycle breaks into four stages, dozing off, light sleep, deep sleep, and REM sleep. Besides dozing off, each sleep stage plays a crucial role in rest, recovery, and memory retention. In fact, one of the best ways to remember new information is to literally sleep on it. Almost every organ in your body changes when you sleep. Your brain activity slows during light and deep sleep. Then it spikes during REM. That's why REM sleep is associated with the most vivid dreams. Your breathing and heart rate slow and your muscles relax during non-REM sleep. When REM sleep kicks in, your breathing and heartbeat escalate while your muscles become paralyzed. That might sound scary, but it keeps you from acting out your dreams. After a good night's sleep, you should feel rested and ready to take on the next day. But what happens if you toss and turn all night? What happens if you don't sleep at all? Randy Gardner made it 11 days without sleep. Using modern science, let's dive into what someone might experience every day they go without sleep. Day one. After being awake for 24 hours, you'll feel tired and irritable, but that sounded obvious. You'll experience impaired judgment, decision-making, and altered perception. In fact, some studies have compared 24 hours of wakefulness to having a blood alcohol level of 0.1%. Missing a night of sleep shouldn't affect your overall health, but it's still not a good idea. Day two. After 48 hours of wakefulness, most people slip into microsleeps or quick 30-second bursts of sleep. Imagine how dangerous that would be if you were operating machinery or driving. Two days of no sleep will start messing with your immune system. We have these things called natural killer cells, or NK cells, in our bodies. They respond to immediate threats like viruses and bacteria. Studies found that NK cell activity decreases the longer you go without sleep. Day 3. After 72 hours, simple tasks become borderline impossible. You'll feel anxious, depressed, and even paranoid. You'll start experiencing hallucinations or seeing things that aren't there. It's called sleep deprivation psychosis. Thankfully, it'll go away once you fall asleep. And after 96 hours, your symptoms will compound after day four. Look up the Russian sleep experiment if you want a good scare. Thankfully, it didn't actually happen. Or so they say. While going on a week without sleep sounds absurd, it's an unfortunate reality for people with sleep disorders. They're not staying up for 72 hours, but they're not sleeping enough to feel well rested. Insomnia, sleep apnea, RLS, narcolepsy, the list goes on forever. If left untreated, missed sleep will quickly diminish your quality of life. One bad night can leave you feeling meh. You'll have trouble thinking and remembering things. The small things will start compounding after a few days. The slightest inconvenience can set you off. By the week's end, you'll start picking petty fights with your partner. Your immune system will also begin to weaken. You see, sleep and your immune system have what's called a bi-directional relationship, meaning that sleep influences your immune system, while conversely, your immune response affects your sleep. Studies have shown that consistent sleep deprivation decreases lymphocyteblastogenesis as well as NK cell activity. This leaves your body in a vulnerable state where you are more prone to infection. And if you do contract an infection, your immune response will alter your sleep patterns by increasing non-REM sleep by 60 to 70%. While this has shown to help fight the infection, depriving yourself of REM sleep means that your body is deprioritizing memory consolidation, brain development, and emotional processing. Continued lack of sleep can lead to the development of physiological disorders and even leave you more vulnerable to parasites. So now you have to look out for those little guys as well. Great. Insufficient sleep has also been linked to an increased risk of obesity. When you lose sleep, your body creates a hormone imbalance, specifically in leptin and ghrelin. 
These are the two hormones that regulate your appetite, so when you lose sleep, you feel an increased appetite. Additionally, sleep deprivation is linked to a deficiency in growth hormones, as well as elevated cortisol levels, and both of these have been linked to obesity. Finally, a lack of sleep impacts your body's ability to metabolize food. So if you pair your body's urge to eat with the chemical imbalance that has been linked to obesity, then further compound that with a decrease in your ability to metabolize food, we're well on our way to gaining some extra pounds. Then of course, being sleep deprived means you're unlikely to be very thoughtful about the food you do eat. So while well rested you might choose a healthy, well balanced diet, sleep deprived you is more likely to pick the greasy bacon cheeseburger with fries and a chaser of ice cream. Are you starting to see the domino effect? Long-term sleep deprivation, and here we're talking several weeks and months, can lead to even more systemic issues. Sleep regulates all of these hormones in our body that keep things running smoothly, like our blood pressure. Every night, our blood pressure dips because, well, our heart is resting and our body is making less demand on it. But when we don't sleep enough, there is less opportunity for our blood pressure to drop. This nocturnal non-dipping has been associated with an increase in cardiovascular disease. So this means things like high blood pressure, heart attack, and even stroke. You'll also notice it on your face. Studies have linked sleep deprivation with increased cortisol production, the stress hormone. Cortisol breaks down the protein that keeps your skin smooth. You'll start noticing wrinkles on your face and bags under your eyes. So what would happen then if you got your sleep back on schedule? Let's lead with the bad news first. You're not going to recover from sleep deprivation after one good night. It takes time to recover from chronic sleep debt. It's not a loan shark that wants all his money up front. Instead, a sleep debt is like a bank you need to pay back over time. Research shows it can take up to four days to recover from one hour of lost sleep. It'll take about nine days long to dig yourself out of sleep debt. The good news is you'll start to see improvements once you've established a better sleep routine. First mentally, then physically. You'll see positive changes in your mood and cognitive abilities. All those other early side effects should begin reversing themselves as well. Getting your blood pressure, your immune system, and even your skin back to a healthy place will take a bit more time. But after a while, you may even start shedding those extra pounds. Well, at least you'll be more inclined to hit the gym. Anybody who tries to tell you that sleep isn't important has no idea what they're saying. Sleep plays a vital role in our mental and physical health. If sleep disorders are causing you to fall into sleep debt, speak with your doctor about establishing healthy bedtime habits. Let Randy Gardner keep his world record. Trust me, it's not worth losing sleep over. Thanks for watching everyone. Sleep well.